Sharon Bade recently ran in Detroit Free Press Marathon where she finished second overall in her age group. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome outstanding athlete, runner, coach, Ms. Sharon Bade. Okay. I'd like to start by asking my husband, Dan, my daughter, Nicole, and my son, Luke, to stand up and be recognized. <laughs> okay. I'd first like to thank the Hall of, Committee, Hall of Fame Committee for, for this award. I'm very honored and humbled to receive this tonight. I'd like to thank Mr. Jim Pettis um, for everything that he's done for me this year. Um, I've been fortunate, as you can see from the video, to surround myself with um, some, pretty, some pretty neat people, some, some great coaches, great trainers, um, players. Um, Hugh Matson, as you saw in the video, he was athletic um, director at Eisenhower when I was there. And he, he truly cared for the student athlete. And um, I mean, I could go down the hall and he came up with the phrase, Colonel Sanders. And that's what he called me for four years and it stuck. And um, I think the whole school was calling me that. Um, another one, Jim Noble, he was on the video. Um, Jim was um, my track coach and basketball coach in high school. And he was a person that I just remember was always excited when you did something really well. And that really stuck with me. And um, I remember one day, one particular race, I was running against Tammy King. And for all of you guys that know Tammy King from MacArthur, she was a real tough kid to beat in the 100. And I remember beating her one day. I think I had the wind at my back. And um, you guys didn't get that. <laughs> And, um, but anyway, um, you know, you would have thought he won the World Series. He was just a, a great coach to have. Um, another thing, I'd like to thank Marilyn Black. Marilyn was not on the video, but um, Marilyn passed away three years ago. And she was my volleyball coach at Eisenhower. And um, she was the one that we won the state championship for. And um, I'm glad we could do that for her. She did a lot for the female athlete um, back in our high school days. Um, going on to college. I think, I think God sent one of the best trainers in the, in the country to Ferris State for me because I probably would not have been able to finish out my college career without someone like Dave Carrier. Um, he rehabilitated me and then he was on to the, the U.S. Olympic team um, in 1988 and 1992 to, uh, to, to be with um, the men's hockey team there. So I probably had one of the best trainers or I probably would not have finished out my career. Um, another godsend to me is Kathy DeBoer, which um, she stood up tonight for all of us. And she was probably one of the toughest coaches you could ever play for. But looking back, um, she made me who I am today. She made me the coach I am, the player I am. Um, and she taught me how to compete. Um, she was only there three short years for me. And then she went on to the University of Kentucky uh, my senior year. And she did not take me with her. <laughs> <laughs> But um, most importantly, I'd like to thank my family. Um, I was very fortunate to have parents that went with me every place. I mean, they showed up everywhere in their diesel automobile and they pulled in ready to go. And, um, you know, it, it, you're very fortunate when you have the support of your family. Um, they taught me to never, never give in, never give up, work hard, and that it's going to pay off someday. And um, I was very fortunate to have the parents that I have. Um, I'm also very fortunate to have two very, two very close sisters that um, um, we do a lot together. And my one sister was probably, probably one of the very first people in my hospital room up at Ferris when I broke my ankle besides Kathy DeBoer. And my one sister, she probably doesn't know it, but she's always the last person I talk to when I go to the start line of the Boston Marathon. But... Um, but I guess as I really look back and I think about why I'm so passionate about competing and, and why I love sports so much, um, the answer is because I had a brother that was five years older than me. And I didn't just have a brother, I had a brother that took me every place. Um, wherever we could find a, an open court in somebody's front yard or an open field, we were playing basketball or football or something like that. and. I wasn't just watching, I was always playing with him and his, and, and him and his um, friends. And I just remember one day when it came time for choosing up sides, he was always a captain and he always got to pick first and he always picked me first. 
And I remember one day one of his friends coming up to him and saying, you know, why do you always pick your sister first? And he said to them, you haven't seen her play. <laughs> so I guess in closing, um, it's been wonderful um, to get this honor, and it's been great to have the success that I've had, but it's only because of all those tables over there um, that I'm able to have that success. Um, I, was best, I, was, I was blessed to have a little bit of talent, but I'm fortunate to have a loving family, some great friends, some great players and coaches um, that have always been there for me. So um, in closing, how am I doing? I'm good. Um, I'd like to congratulate all the inductees, um, past and present, and I want to thank all of you for coming out tonight. Thank you.